What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Rejig Bean Podcast. I'm here once again, joined by my lovely wife, Melissa. Holla at them. Hi, everybody. And today, here in the here in the house, here in our house, not the little calendar room. <laughs> from the little calendar room, we have Fire Lane Podcast, ladies and gentlemen, joining Dude. us here. <laughs> Moises and Brenda. Hello. What's going on? How's it going? By the way, this podcast. If it sounds a little like we're on edge, it's because it took us like an hour to set this up. What do you mean to us? us. <laughs> it, took, it, took, it took, okay, it took me an hour to try to set it up with my setup. And then it took, when he says, like 20 minutes, like five minutes to set it up with his setup. Oh. So, ladies and gentlemen, when people say go Mac, you got to go Mac. <laughs> go he, Apple. His Mac go literally, back. yeah, his Mac literally, his Mac and his tiny little microphones that were like, what, 20 bucks each? Mm-hmm. Just kicked my PC and my like $90 Okay, it's like eighty dollars. Well, I think well the cat is, the cat is eighty dollars, and then the my, the meteor mic was like, what like thirty bucks, I don't something know. like that. I don't Steve know. Steve Jobs collect- is up there, <laughs> laughing at Bill. You know what I mean? Like collectively, <laughs> yeah, he's over here like, <laughs> I knew Greg was gonna suck at like, <laughs> suck suck <it>. podcast, <laughs> suck at Bill Gates. <laughs> don't suck it. Anyway, <laughs> how you guys been? Thanks. For, well, first of all, thanks for being here. Thanks and, for inviting uh, and us. For, yeah, yeah. And, and, and thank you for uh, your patience, I know. And thanks for being your equipment. <laughs> yeah, and, and thanks for saving. One thing I'm single, gifted at is single, patience. Yeah, single-handedly, oh, yeah. you guys saved this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't have happened if you guys didn't bring your stuff. Or we probably could have possibly recorded one, but not released it. <laughs> yeah, right? It would just be like a robot. <laughs> Man, that just uh, sucks. But, all right, well, I'm going to invest. Good thing income tax is coming. Maybe I'll invest in a Mac. I don't think Melissa agrees. No? no. <laughs> well, the laptop I have was technically Probably free. Probably some, some microphones, too. Yeah. Just $20. Whole, well, $20. $20. We're $20. just going to invest in we're, some better equipment. Hold on. Well, maybe we, get the, maybe we get the Mac and the microphones we have now work better. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, that's not what we're going to talk about today, guys. Anything works better. We were, <laughs> anything works better than what Let you have. Let me tell you. Wait. So, you guys been watching a lot of Netflix Sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna <laughs> throw that out there. <laughs> For yeah, you guys. no, but <laughs> we were just stuck. We tried to record this before you guys got here, but then we threw it away because the microphones weren't working. But we were saying that uh, it seems like once we had Elena and we stopped going out, like that's all we were doing. We were just watching Netflix, Netflix. and Hulu, but Netflix mostly. mostly Netflix or whatever. Because we got tired of the and, ads, and, and we don't want to pay more. <laughs> yeah, From Hulu. Yeah, yeah, Hulu. Yeah, I think you have to pay like five bucks extra or something like that. I don't know. For so no ads or for no ads, yeah. I think oh, the yeah. no ads is like they, closer they, to twenty they, bucks. They they have our premium. I think it's well. Yeah. They, then they raise their prices, prices, mm-hmm. not I, prices. I tried. I tried Hulu one time. Not like no. Nah. I think you have to pay the for everything. The free trial. For no I didn't even yeah. finish it. <laughs> for YouTube, for you to not to get ads, you need to pay for that. Yeah, but the thing the thing that's good about Hulu is that it has better anime selection. Oh, what's anime? And like has, anime? Has what like, is an anime? Like, um, like newer shows, you know, like if stuff are playing, you can watch yeah. it like the next day. Well, even like the, Grey's Anatomy, uh, like once mm, the season's going, you all can these watch Netflix it the originals, or... dude. I'm telling you, all these Netflix originals are like the tits. Well, didn't you hear like a movie is nominated for an Oscar? A Netflix one? I believe it. Like Which Ro- one? Rosa, I think, or something like that. I, I don't seen know. It. I Rosa? But it's like about, about a, a Mexican. It's, yeah, an in, in indigenous woman in Mexico. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. But it's nominated for an Oscar. Dude. Nice. nice. There you go. Finally. I, I, <laughs> finally. Um, no, but it was, it's interesting because some of the shows that we watch, like we notice now that all the shows that we watch are like so inappropriate like we can't watch them in front of elena either because they're like so too vulgar bloody you know just like nudity that, yeah mm-hmm. just just things that we don't want her exposed to yeah um so then we now like we're looking for shows to watch around her <laughs> that we can like okay well it's okay if she watches this so we watch we're watching this one narcos no 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 <laughs> yeah we can't watch that no, we're watching this one called uh, "Back with My Ex," isn't it? "Back with the Ex." Mm. It's based in Australia, so they're all like Aussies. It's based on. It's based. It's based in... on Australia. <laughs> Life. <laughs> no, it's all in Australia, so they're all Australian, and like, it makes you feel good about your relationship, man. I'm Why? Telling you. Like, well, you, no, like it was... I think it, it, no, it really does like 
it really does uh, kind of tap into that urge. Well, not the urge, but like you compare yourself to other people, especially when you're in a couple in your relationship. I'm pretty sure you guys have gone through that. that you, yeah, that's you, why. you have like friends. That's well, why you hang out with friends. other couples. Yeah, you like, hang out with other couples. <laughs> and sometimes they're like, oh man, I'm glad we're not like those guys. You know what I mean? <laughs> and they're probably saying the same thing about you guys in, in a certain other, you know? So that's what that whole show is. You just watch these couples try to get back together and they're just like fighting all the time. We're like, like ha, silliness. Like I would never talk to you like that, babe. You know what I mean? So it's like really cool. But, you know, it's funny because we were trying to find a show to watch around our daughter. And yeah. that show cusses because, you know. Oh, yeah. They don't, they don't censor. Which one? Well, they say shit. Which they one? They don't censor shit. Even the uh, shows that, show. that are supposed that to be it. okay. Yeah. Like, they say that are nowadays. rated like PG-13 and stuff. I'm starting to think that I don't think shit is censored anymore in shows. A lot of things has been uncensored. Yeah. Sen- shirt, I think shit and bitch are okay now. Yeah. Well, no, like it's because like but you can't say there fuck. it's different. No, <laughs> yeah, the... they 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 were saying fuck. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. I think they I think they bleeped it. You bleeped it in your mind. I think I bleeped it. But because like it's more it. normal for them to yeah. cuss like I mean, they wrestle day. alligators and kangaroos. And I mean, shit. I'd be mm-hmm. cussing if I was wrestling Crikey. an alligator. Crikey! <laughs> oh, I might. Oh, you're a little concerned about a little an alligator. <laughs> I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna t- oh, is that the Gabriel Iglesias? Yeah. That dude doesn't cuss. And he's on Netflix. He never cusses. He does. Yeah. No, he doesn't. Well, he doesn't say like F like, or uh, active. Like sugar, honey, most of his bits. No, he does say sugar, most of his bits. I mean, he doesn't really curse. Says a B word. He's pretty clean. Yeah, he is. So I think that's you know I think that's uh, remarkable. <laughs> that's d- endearing. Did you say irremarkable or remarkable? <laughs> no, I was to say remarkable. And then I was trying to think of another word. And I said endearing. <laughs> Sometimes I'll start a sentence and I don't know where it's going. I just keep saying things. <laughs> that's a Michael Scott. By the way, do you guys watch The Office? That's also on Netflix. No. Is I've it... seen a few episodes, but I don't know. Yeah, I think it's... My... The same people that don't like The Office usually are the people that don't like Seinfeld. I like Seinfeld. You do? Yeah. Oh. It's a show about nothing. Oh, what the fuck don't you like? <laughs> it's a show about nothing. No, it's a show about terrible people. What? That's what she doesn't get it. Like, Melissa doesn't like it. But well, Seinfeld? I haven't yeah. really tried. I, I, I might yeah. try, but... I just don't like Jerry Seinfeld's voice. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I really don't like it. <laughs> you get used to it. <laughs> what was that? Is that your impression? That's how you talk. Right? <laughs> terrible impression. Like he has a high pitched voice or whatever. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, there you kind of like that, like yeah. the cadence of it. Yeah. No, honestly, I just watch it for Kramer. Kramer is funny. Michael Richardson is funny. Is like, that the, the, the tall one? Mm-hmm. He, he's actually based hair. on a true a yeah. person. Yeah. Oh. You know that? Kramer. Um, that uh, Larry David knows. Larry David's a producer, the, the, the creator. And uh, I think he created... No, he did, he did create Curb Your Enthusiasm, which is another show that is supposedly really funny. But yeah, Kramer's based on <laughs> somebody he... I gotta just spot out these facts that are not interesting <laughs> at all. By the way, I might be misquoting, please. If somebody knows like what, who actually Kramer is inspired by, like I don't want to get... Ch- chastised? Is that a word? What Jessica chast- Chastain? What is chastised? <laughs> What is chastise? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's about to Google oh, what's no, no, I'm, sorry, I'm, just, I'm just checking the time. Is that a Netflix show? I'm just checking the time. Uh, is that another Netflix you, show? You said... Uh, you said uh, uh, what is chastise? Because uh, I don't know what that is. Chastise? Hey, Google. Is that what we're talking about? Chastise? <laughs> it's not. It's not picking it up. It's because it's Google. Wow. So, what, now you're, so, okay. One thing is you insult my PC. Now you're insulting Android too? Hey, Siri. Oh. <laughs> she, she's ignoring you. By the way, did you guys know chastise is spelled with an S, not with a C? <laughs> it stands for rebuke hey, or reprimand severely. I already looked it up. Oh, but mine's type. Wow. It's not. Get to the future, she's, bro. She's sleeping Actually, away. I just typed it in Emma, myself. It's because Emma will be like, Oh, she She'll talks say to it? something and then, so I put it for type. Dude. Then, Pretty soon, that's all you're going to be able to have to do, like, watch. Yeah. Well, that's what I do with my Amazon Fire Stickers, like, watch Netflix. But you can't do that with your phone yet. You can you do that with Siri? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. You can, like, stream whatever. Open Netflix. Open ABC app. Open. What? That's wiggity wiggity whack. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. Oh, you're, like, far away. You're just... I don't know if you don't want to be here no more. Oh, I was trying to crack my back, my oh, okay. neck too. So oh, I just cracked. You know the best way to crack it. your back is right to do a one-handed push-up. 
That's not the best way. I always say that. I really should stop Can saying. You even do yeah, a I, really, I really should stop saying the best way. I should, it's a I good way. Can't do a it's a way. Right it's a way. It's a way. <laughs> it's one way. Um, but here, listen, guys. We're talking about these Netflix shows. I really want to talk about the show that I made you guys watch. No, let's not. I, <laughs> it's called. It's not a show. It's a documentary. Let's, okay, I'm sorry. Let's not. <laughs> She's. Like, I'd rather not. It's. I told you it was messed up. It's, it's it's frustrating. We it's, were so annoyed by it. No, yeah. So by we're talking. So if you guys don't know, we're talking about uh, abducted in plain sight, which everybody's been talking about the show. I've heard other podcasters talk about it, but I, I just heard you. I really want to. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I want to talk about it I've now. Seen I think Joe Rogan. But... Joe Rogan. Oh no, it wasn't Joe Rogan, but one of his friends brought it up. Um, so this is documentary. By the way, we're, just spoiler warning right now because we're just gonna go ahead and talk about spoiler everything. Spoiler alert! Because if you guys haven't seen it, it's been out for a while. It's not a spoiler if it, the name is in the like the t- like the topic. Well, it's, the... it's a spoiler because we're gonna go a little bit more. Into yeah, we're literally. I'm gonna happened. talk about everything because this is nuts. And if you haven't watched it yet, well, then that sucks for you. Don't watch it. Pause it. <laughs> Pause this it's... podcast and go watch it. And then come back. <laughs> I, it's, it's, when when so videos tell you to do that, I'm like, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. <laughs> Screw you. Abducted in plain sight. Mm-hmm. For those of you who don't know, it's about a family. <sighs> we call them inocentes. No. Minocentes. Inocentes. We call them inocentes in Spanish, which means there's like people that you're just like, oh man, they probably ate some lead, some paint chips when they were little. No, I'm kidding. Paint no, it's terrible. No, look, I feel bad for some these people. Paint. They So, it's about a family. Why would you feel bad for these people? I feel bad for them because, okay, I'll tell you why I feel bad for them. So, these people, nice people, really nice people. You see them in church, you're like, yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice guy right there. And you know, that's a nice family, right? They're, 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 uh, Daughter gets abducted by a family friend more than once. <laughs> and uh, honestly, the entire documentary is just about, it's just about, yeah, yeah. It's just about well, the these people. Okay. Well, it's like two things of it, right? It's the, it's the abduction itself, right? How this guy was able to manipulate everyone, everyone, right? the everyone of the entire family and even <clears throat> some of the community. And then also the fact that these parents were, What? where were they absent i would say i think the first time they she got abducted well how long did they wait like five days five days i think so five days as a parent can you guys explain to me the logic behind that there's no logic would you (laughs) there is not how long would you wait honestly like how long would you wait to report it because you're technically supposed to wait two days but no you're supposed to wait a day would you like immediately right yeah if if that person if I called that person and he wasn't answering I would have well called. this is before cell phones though well yeah but we're talking about now <laughs> <laughs> yeah no. I I I sometimes I think it was like oh okay well they didn't have phones back then but like, but like they even, had a phone to call the cops even just letting the daughter go the yeah. first time you know that that was like the stupid well the first thing. yeah they, they even admitted it like yeah we thought he was being weird from the get go yeah. <laughs> Because he was super obsessed well, with the thing daughter. That, the thing that was upsetting was that they were like, I don't want to report it because I don't want... Well, what are the people going to say? That's yeah. not my problem. That's why, that's why it didn't feel like they were innocent people. They were yeah, just yeah. selfish people. They were just yeah. thinking about what others but also, of them. Well, but instead of... Well, I'm not saying innocent. I, I'm not saying innocent like they're, like they're not to blame. I was saying innocent. Yeah, like, like, like they're my, just like... Like yeah. they're like little kids. It's like watching... I, was, I used a metaphor earlier. It's like seeing, seeing somebody... Like on fire, and then there's, and they're just, you, they're, you're seeing them trying to put themselves out with everything they're not supposed to. Like, oh, well, I'm gonna douse myself in gasoline. Oh, like, no, no, the water's right there. It's like, no, I'm gonna get this fire extinguisher and beat the crap out of myself with it. No, the water's right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what you're doing. That's the whole time. Like, why are these people doing what they're doing? Yeah, we were so, we wanted to we jump were... in the screen and punch this crap. <laughs> the, yeah. yeah, the whole time. Let's talk about the red herring in the room, okay? The, I really want, the red hair is not a red herring. The red red herring is a different thing. Sorry, the red elephant? herring. Yeah, the elephant in the room. Okay, <laughs> this guy. Your dogs. This guy was able to manipulate. <laughs> this was able. This guy was able to make the the girl think that she was abducted by aliens and that she wasn't part alien. Yeah, and that she had to have sex with this guy to have a, a child. Right? By sixteen. To save the world. Mm-hmm. And now you you listen to that and you're like, ah, oh, she's a kid, right? She was like, what, 11? 12. And then you're like, huh, okay, maybe I could swing that, <laughs> right? I could swing that, that this happened. 
But then you find out that the mom was getting a little frisky with this guy, yeah. too. And I'm like, oh, shit. No, I, when I saw that, I was like, oh, shit. She's got the mom in the pocket, right? And I'm thinking, like, oh, this, this lady's a slut. I, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll call it a slut. By the way, I don't know any Where of these people. I'm really sorry. I am really <laughs> sorry that this happened to you, but I'm being honest right now. I was like, that's a slut right there, okay? <laughs> and then they cut to now he's hanging out with the dad. And I jokingly said, I jokingly <laughs> said to Melissa, before it happened? Before. Yeah, no, before it happened. Like, like as like it was happening, because I was like, oh, that. like this, like, oh, like this, this guy's like manipulating the mom. Like he's got her in his, in his, in her pocket, his pocket, whatever. And so then it comes to the dad and he's like, so then he, he's having trouble with his girlfriend or whatever. And I'm just like, Life. and I was like, watch this. He's going to, he's going to, he's going to have sex with the dad too. He's going to kiss him or something. Right. And they're in the car and he says, and the guy needed some release. And I, and I, I turned to Melissa and I was like, what is going on? <laughs> and he said, so then I relieved him. And I, I, st- I stood up and I was like, he jerked him off. <laughs> <laughs> he jerked him off. Yeah, that's, 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 that's like, that's why I wanted to punch these parents in the face. It's just one bad decision after the it, other. Yeah, it's because it's starting with the parents obviously seeing that the guy is... Drawing, obsessed yeah. obsessed with this girl outside from right the didn't he two. tell her like that he loved her all the time that like he wanted yeah. to marry her like he... well he also would spend the night with mm-hmm. her and they let <sighs> dude him. i would never let like, that happen and then the, me- the messed up part is after she gets abducted and uh they put charges on him or whatever the wife of that dude mm-hmm. comes over and like hey we're gonna reveal everything he's done to you or you've done with him if you don't drop the charges yeah yeah and that was like the most selfish thing that they could do. Yeah. Because there's they're for their daughter's safety. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. to drop the they, charges. They fucked up so bad. They did. Yeah. I would well, have been because, like, tell everybody well, I don't yeah, care. Exactly. Stay away from my child. Yeah. Like yeah. even even though like they tested her and you know and the test shows that she was still a virgin because he never went fully in. You know, I'd Dude. still be like, you took my daughter, you know, yeah. I would have got my daughters. I would have left. I would have mm-hmm. never told him. I would have gotten a restraining order. I would have left. And like if the wife did tell everyone that would add, that would basically mean that he's guilty. Yeah, exactly. Because he was capable of doing, well, even doing the, them to the mom The and investigator dad. said that too. Remember, he yeah. said like the, they were the sole purpose why we, like the we, we couldn't get him. The investigator was the only it's sane. Because of them. Like logical person in that whole documentary. And then it got me so <laughs> yeah. mad too. The brother. That... I think the funny part was the brother, the brother of the guy that was the dude. Cause yeah. Like, that he was, was logical too. Well, yeah. no, I know. I just think it's funny because he looked like he's just like so relaxed about the whole thing. Yeah. And then at the end he he's was like, like, at the end, he's, I, like that's just he's my always been yeah. like At that. the end he goes, yeah. and then at the end, then he goes, and then and then shot him. <laughs> killed him. Like it was just like so <laughs> anticlimactic. Right? Yeah, yeah, he killed he himself, yeah. and then he and then he shot himself. He died. He killed himself. <laughs> He's just like super relaxed. I was like, who is this guy? This guy should have been hanging out with the family, not the other way around. Yeah. But yeah, like, <sighs> like I was saying, it like pissed me off that the mom ended up having an affair with this guy after he took exactly dude. her daughter exactly. Dude. the first time, and she <sighs> had a romantic thing with him well they slept together they, they they slept for six months i believe oh yeah he's like and this went on for like eight months and then she could tell like when she would talk about him it's like she'll make st- he will make me feel yeah, so he made special me feel so nice but they never specified if Wait, he was it. if if the dad kept jerking him off like frequently i think it was just that one time well, I mean, I, I mean one time is enough like, yeah come I on mean, i don't know maybe the first time wasn't that great <laughs> <laughs> It was the first like, time that dude had done that, so maybe he wasn't good at like it. Like, seeing that, I put myself in his shoes. Yeah. Um, I would, like, punch that dude in the face if he asked me that. To jerk him off? Yeah. Well, he didn't ask him. He just kind of... I need some Insisted. relief. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he implied it, bro. He implied it. <laughs> he, He's like, and then I reached over, and I'm like, damn, dude. Like, take him off of it. Yeah, cause he, be like, take him off because the guy, like, went and was like, <laughs> um, me, oh, wait, no. me and my wife don't, don't, aren't intimate, you know? And, you know, yeah, it's just, yeah. it's, you know, it's getting to like, me, and dude, I just need a little relief. I'd be like, do it yourself. <laughs> right? Yeah, do it exactly. yourself. Like, 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 no, oh. but that's the thing is that I think it's amazing. Either these fam- either these people were like just super dumb, yeah. right? And uh, there's no other way to say That's it. Or, or this guy was just that great at manipulating. Both. 
Yeah. I think both. Like, I can't really blame, what's the name? Uh, Jan, I think her name was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't really blame her too much. Who's that? Because you could tell that she That's was brainwashed. Girl. Oh, like you could tell that she was really far gone. Like, well, why would you blame her? I mean, no, I'm not saying I blame. Her I said I wouldn't. I mean, obviously there are some things that I think. That was all when you look fault. at it, when you look at it. I mean, he he ma- he made her believe. The parents yeah, but he made her believe that if she did tell her, that her, her sister would sister go blind. They would they would switch her <laughs> out for her time. other sister. They would kill her dad. Then she like at one point she was like, I'm just gonna kill my sister. Yeah. Yeah. And herself. Or like and say herself. like, hey, do it, or then. And pew. Yeah. Yeah. When she Murder said suicide. that she was gonna ask yeah. the sister if she, because she was about to turn sixteen. Yeah. yeah. It's like if she doesn't want to do it, then I'll kill her and I'll kill myself. Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, the man. kid is not to blame. There. I think it's, it's the race. No, I'm kidding. Mm-hmm. No, no. What? I was gonna say no. I was gonna make a joke because I made a, kind of a, a comment. I was like, I think if this was a Hispanic family, it would be different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, the documentary would have ended like two yeah, minutes in. Like, and, then, <laughs> and then he was like, "Can I take your daughter?" Yeah. Or like when they when take they when he called when she calls Call him, chapel. right when she had been gone for a while, and then she what? calls him just to say hi, and they're like, "Are you gonna come home?" And then she was like, "Nah." And I'm just saying bye bye, and they're like, "Okay, well we love you," and we're like, "No, we would have been like, you get your ass home right now. I'm gonna go kick your ass." Like, it just didn't make any sense to me. Yeah. Didn't make no sense. And honestly, if this had happened to me, let's say let's say that I did the same decisions that these people did, I would not write a book, a, and I would not ever show my face to anyone ever again. Like I would never tell the story. I'd have a blurry face. I'd get one of those voice changers. (laughs) I wouldn't talk about this. I I would hope nobody ever knew who I was. Like redact all my information. I changed my name. I changed everything. Because how could you live with this? And then still, like, talk about it. Mm-hmm. I feel so sorry for those people. I but know. also, uh, fuck them. No, I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I feel... I feel... I feel sorry for the daughter. The daughter. Uh, yeah, I know. Horrible. She, yeah, and the sisters. And the she sisters, got... Yeah. She got, like, the shit end of all of it, you know, because he... He abducted her and did all... And brainwashed her, you know? And, you know, he, he must have been a really good mani- m- manipulator, manipulator, you know, to get the whole family Damn. you know but it's, good sales, it's just i feel so bad for her and in the trial the, when the, he showed up to the, the trial oh. when he showed up to the trial and he was still like what's going on or whatever mm-hmm. innocent and she was like so scared of him and then what did she say i'll never forget like it kind of sent chills down my spine when she when she was like 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 you ruined my life and all this other stuff and then he just goes oh <sighs> Sorry you feel that way. Like, I was like, oh, like, somebody pop a cap in this guy. Like, somebody <laughs> just shoot him right there. Like, kill him. I would have killed him. Well, he did it himself, so. <sighs> do you think that, do you get, now we're going to a different subject. Do you think that's better or worse? What? what do you th- like, if, uh, like did if some, did somebody did something bad, right, and then just, like, killed themselves? Do you think there's, like, <clears throat> as much resolution, or do you think it's just, like, either way, like, it's a little, it's a little less bad? But you know, but she still has to live with all that stuff in her head. Yeah. But maybe I don't know. Maybe there's like a small comfort. Like, but there would like be a small no thing justice. of hope because then she knows that he's not gonna do that to another girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But like, she can't erase her memory. No. I just wonder, like, for people who go through that type of stuff, like, do, would you, would they rather see the person like die, or like in jail forever, rather than him just like not I think being around would, anymore? Like, like just being gone, whether it's in jail or dead. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I wonder if there's like a difference. We'd have to talk to her. <laughs> like, would you rather him be alive but not here? Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, like those people, they kill in jail. Oh, for sure. Like, yep. like child molesters. Like even like even prisoners have morals now. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah. a lot of them have kids, and they're like, yeah, you know, this this person touched a child. Like, I'm gonna mm-hmm. when I, hurt they him. Get killed. I, I've always that's one of my like fears is to be like wrongfully convicted for something like that because I watched like Making a Murderer that's another good one if you guys ever want to watch that <laughs> we're never going to watch anything you <laughs> no, no it's totally totally it's different it's totally different this one's more like this guy so this guy he uh, he got convicted for murdering somebody mm. for, and he was in jail for like 18 years but then he was like, innocent yeah he was innocent and then uh 
he got out for like six months or something. I forgot how long he was out. And then they blamed him again. Well, they didn't blame him. That's what it's kind of looking like. They found evidence that saying that he murdered somebody else. Mm-hmm. And then they put him back in jail. Yeah, because you can't go for the same case. No, it was a different case. And like, but like the first time that they, they were trying to get him out, like the, it really seemed like he did it just because mm-hmm. the, the, the evidence that the state had against him. Right. But now in the second episode, you start to see like some of the evidence, like how they researched it more and like how they try to reenact some of the stuff that happened. It's not like adding up at all. So like yeah. at first you're like, like yeah yeah so at first you're like so, so, so maybe first... he's he's guilty like maybe they're just making a big deal about it but then you're like oh shit like well that doesn't make any sense so either they're trying to frame him or I don't know what man so I the first season guilty. is more like you guilty. you you kind of like teeter like like there's yeah. there, there's some evidence that you're like well that well that doesn't add the... up and then they and then they come up with another one you're like okay so maybe he did do it <laughs> and then the second season comes out and you're just like. Okay, none of this stuff is adding yeah, yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, but you still don't know who did it. Yeah. that's the thing. I think that's like the, the more compelling things. Like, yeah. I really want to just know who the hell did it or what actually happened. He he's he spent most of his life in jail yeah, like, yeah, for for one years. a crime that he had not committed, you know. Then the second the second which time, we don't know. which he's still trying to, you know, to this day people. till this yeah. day he's trying to prove his innocence. Dang. It gives you, like, a good peek into, like, how the judicial system works mm-hmm. as far as, like, what the stuff they have to go through to, like, get a get a hearing and other stuff. I think the problem right now is that um, all the judges and stuff like that that are reviewing this case for, like, another hearing, mm-hmm. all, they, all they can go off of is the evidence from the first case. So, like, all the new evidence that they're finding, like, they're not accepting any new evidence. So then you're like, what the... F-? So a, part of you is like, is something wrong with the system? Like, that's yeah. why I'm so scared. Like, what if I... What if somebody frames me and they just won't listen to me? And yeah, that's a jail. big issue. Now I'm in jail, dude. <laughs> that's why we watch who we're friends with. <laughs> <laughs> Here, touch this water bottle. <laughs> touch this knife. You, run, you feel this knife. It's a good knife. <laughs> so have you, like, touch Catch. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> I just stab someone. Is there anything you guys watch on Netflix that is Get interesting? <laughs> like, interesting. like the well, the stuff you you watch because we like to watch inappropriate, like yeah. murder or you know, documentaries on things and that people, have happened. People, yeah. people making wood sculptures with chainsaws. Oh yeah, that was what? nice. Yeah, it's called Carver Kings. Oh, that I think it got nice. canceled. It's like from 2016. <laughs> it's pretty cool. They're all Canadians, so like all super nice to each other. <laughs> and then I blew up on him. Thank eh? you, eh? And he's like, and then I, and then I was so mad at him, eh? Hey, eh? hey, eh? <laughs> hey, uh, hey, man, uh, don't you think we should not do that? Yeah, probably, man. Yeah, good thing we resolved the issue, eh? Why do you like, sound like a Canadian child? Yeah, that, that. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean, like even what when they, they, even hey? when they're mad at each other, like it, it just not like you think like, oh, they're gonna fight, and then like, nah, they're just like. Shake hands. Calm, yeah. They'll like hug it out. No, I was kidding. That's how violent they get. They shake hands. <laughs> why Why didn't you think that there's like reality shows with Mexicans? Like his like Latinos? Or am I just not aware of any? I think we just watch American TV. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's kind They're of... They're called telenovelas. I used to watch... <laughs> no, because I used to watch... But those are reality. I used to watch like Big Guadalupe. Brother. Did you ever watch Big Brother? Like the Spanish one? Oh, those, that's yeah, those those are reality cool. TV. But like, La Rosa de Guadalupe that. is reality TV, bro. No, it isn't. Es como casas de la vida, re- mujer, That's casas not de reality, la vida. though. That's like a scripted, and like there's actors and stuff. But like it was based on true events. <laughs> no, it's not. Reality, <laughs> I think reality TV is fake, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Like, the they, Kardashians are not they, like they that. They probably. Anymore. You don't think so? What do you think well, they're maybe. really? Well, maybe. <laughs> what do you think they really are like? I think, I think celebrities in general, yeah. especially if they're big. Yeah, uh, if they're like dying down or whatever, right? Like, something has to happen in their life mm-hmm. for them to go what, back on the, on the stuff. Yeah. Or what's whatever. also like these, um, like the Kardashians. That's what they're known for. Is like they're just yeah, their drama. Like, their, their drama. How did they come to the spotlight? Because uh, of the dad. Because their dad. O.J. Simpson trial. He comes out. Who blew literally <laughs> he themselves he, into the he spotlight? He comes out. He comes out in. Uh, well, he doesn't come out, but. His character is played by uh, David Schwimmer. 
is Ross from Friends. The, in that OJ system? Yeah, OJ, yeah uh, trial, whatever. Well, that that's how it started. Mm-hmm. But then how... Uh, Kim Kim showed her ass on... <laughs> uh, the, 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 the Kim and uh, Ray J porno? Yeah, and then she dated that basketball player. Who was it? That gave her like that giant ring. That... The one that she was married for three months and yeah. then divorced. And See? Then she, and like, she... I think that's all staged. You think it's staged? Well, yeah. a, a lot of uh, celebrity couples are, are staged to mm-hmm. promote things and... Yeah. You know, and then and then they fall. I mean, she's been with Kanye West for a while. But well, no, I don't but, think but that's that, stage, but that that wasn't stage. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> but like I don't know. I think every, a lot of the stuff he does is strange. He, I think he he, he was with someone before, and then they were friends. I think he was then... with Amber Rose. Right? Was he? I don't know. See, I don't keep up with that stuff. I just like hear it <clears throat> every once in a while. But yeah, she I can't get came, into that stuff, like, man. Stole him. Like all that, like E. You know, like entertainment. People, like e. people watch E. What is that? And it's like you'll never Channel? believe what I entertainment know, tonight. Oh, you'll never I'm believe like, what Ka- uh, I can't believe. I don't know an actress name. Find Kate this Hudson. Entertaining. Yes, I, I, you won't believe what Kate Hudson posted on her new Twitter page. Yeah. Find out when we come back, and it's like, oh, this lovely picture of Kate Hudson feeding a dog in the park. <laughs> Get the exclusive, and I'm like, what the fuck? I waited through twenty minutes of commercials for this <laughs> shit. <laughs> And there's no, people who find that entertaining. Like, for real? I saw a post of, of one of the Kardashians on following a certain person. And it's like, click on the link below to find out what happened. I'm like, why would probably I care? Nothing. <laughs> <Who's> <laughs> like, probably follow? nothing exciting. It's like, probably like, I think right now it's like Kylie is got Kylie backstabbed by. No, I think it's Kylie. Oh, that's that's someone who, who just, just had the baby. I know Kim. Uh, she, she got <laughs> like backstabbed by one of her friends. They're the new KKK. Think about it. Oh, yeah. They're all with K's, huh? But there's more than three. Yeah. There's well, Kim, Courtney, Chloe, Kylie, and, and Kendall. Kendall. That's KKK. But the original three before yeah. they added the Jenners. The Kardashians. <laughs> like, the actual the, the, Kardashians. The, 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 you know the two are irrelevant. Last time we saw a photo and I thought of making a meme because they had, uh, who was it? One of the, one Stormy. Of the babies. Stormy? Yeah, they had one of the babies. Like one of the new babies or whatever. And she had this face. Yeah. And I was like, I, I can make a meme out of this. And it's like, when you find out that your grandpa's also a grandma. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that's who Caitlyn is. You didn't. Oh. <laughs> no, it's because she said Caitlyn, but I'm like, Caitlyn, which one is that one? Is that the older one? I didn't say Caitlyn. You didn't that's... say Caitlyn? No. Oh, you said Courtney. Yes. Courtney's Courtney. the older <laughs> sister. It's Courtney. Courtney's the older sister. Yeah, man. Eh, I mean, she's what is she like? Sixty years old now? You can't tell. I mean, she's pretty <laughs> old, so eh, whatever. I don't think that counts. I was gonna, <laughs> like just to be like super controversial. I don't think that counts as transgender if you're like about to die. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're already out the door. You're transitioning yeah, to you're, death. I'm yeah. way transitioning <laughs> when you're like about to die. Like, it doesn't make sense. This is why they're so big because people just spend. Ten, no, you're no, you're right. Yeah. I think it's because I think it's it's the uh, like you get fascinated with like their story. Yeah, that's why reality TV is popular because people feel so bad about their life. True. Like that's why my sixty pound life, my six hundred pound life is popular. Because a sixty pound life, that would so <laughs> <until> you're dead. <laughs> a sixty Maybe. pound life would be pretty short. No, but have you heard of that show? My six hundred yeah, pound, pound life. Yeah, like, okay. people like watching or like that quarters. because. Oh, that too. Like they feel like, oh, yeah, you I'm, I'm hefty. Yeah, you. So then you yourself. watch that show. Like, well, I'm not that bad. <laughs> you, let me ask you something. Just like, because I've been reading a lot. Uh, what, how do we get reading? from? How do we get to this? By you've way? been reading? That's dangerous. I asked well, no, I like should to say I listen to audiobooks. <laughs> when I say I, I read, I say I listen to. I listen to audiobooks. <laughs> but like, do you guys get? Do you guys get envious? Like, be honest. Do you guys get envious when you see like a celebrity with like a lot of money and like a big house and everything like that? Not envious, okay. but I'm like, man, that's cool. Okay. We're going to have that one day. Okay. But like, okay, so now let me ask you something. If uh, no, we're done here. one of your yeah. friends, right, like somebody that's doing like the same line of work as you or whatever, mm-hmm. has like a slightly better phone, do you kind of want to get like that phone? <laughs> no, no, I'm just, I'm asking you a serious question. I'm going, I, I, I'm going somewhere with this, by the way. Don't worry. Where are you going? No, just like answer the question. <laughs> Like, do you... If someone who's in the same line of Like, work yeah, like team. somebody who's, like, the same level of income, I guess what I'm saying. Like, they're not richer than you or anything. But somebody that's has a slightly better phone, does that make you like, oh, man, I kind of want to get that phone? I guess there will be a niche. 
My yeah, goal, like cool, you... it'll be cool to have that phone. Yeah. What's... But then I'll be logical <laughs> <laughs> and then you get... about it. <laughs> well, because I was, I've, I've been listening to this thing and like psychologically, like, uh, as we as humans, mm-hmm. we we tend to only be real envious and like try to match. Uh, achieve, yeah, match people that are closer to where we are already, mm-hmm. right? So like, yeah, like we we compare ourselves to Kanye West, like, well, I probably probably never gonna have that much money, but like if you like, having the Mac, <laughs> and I'm like, okay, well, damn, like I wish I had that, you know what I mean? And I know I can afford it, so I'm saying like I think that's it's interesting, like maybe that's why. We like to listen to celebrities because it's like a fantasy. It's like, oh, wouldn't that be cool if I had that much money? What would I do with that much money? You know what I mean? Probably not much. I'm, I'm pretty stingy. I think yeah, in, the, probably not. <laughs> in the subject of money, yeah, money is a, basically a, what's it called? What, what's the thing called? Paper? It's basically a revealer. That's a what revealer? It yeah. Okay. Like, like for makeup? No. <laughs> oh, that's okay. concealer. That's concealer. <laughs> Is there a difference? You know nothing about makeup. (laughs) Hey, I know it goes in your. No, like it's a revealer. Like if you give someone a million dollars right now, yeah, it'll reveal who that person. What kind of person? That's true. That's true. Like if you give a million dollars to a bad person, they're gonna do bad things with it. But if you give it to a good person, then. I mean, you hear a lot of horror stories about that. Like people just kill themselves or something. Well, somebody was telling me a story because I used to work at when I was working at uh, Salvation Army. Mm. I I worked there for like um, two months or something. And uh, he was saying that this guy won the lottery, but it wasn't here. It was like, I think it was in Europe or like in Asia or something. And he won a pretty big jackpot. And he was trying to help people. And he was trying to like, you know, like, hey, like, you need some money for this or whatever. But then everybody started coming towards him and like giving him a sob story. And like, oh. and then like, when he couldn't pay, then people started harassing him. And like, he said it ruined his life. The lottery like, does. Yeah, the lottery yeah. probably does. Especially if you don't go anonymous. It's because it, it's... People don't know what to do with money. Yeah. They do. And well, basically, like, this is how we view money, like, becoming rich. Is if you win the lottery, you never knew how you got that money besides you winning the lottery. Yeah. Like, yeah. you never learned how to earn it. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. you still have that same circle of people that you hanged out who made the same income. Mm. but now you have a bunch of money true true true. but we're still that same circle so of course that same circle is going to want what you have of course so they're going to do that but when it comes to like you earning that money and in that trajectory you have to change who you hang out with no you're right like you have to stop hanging out with broke people broke people and start (laughs) hanging out well then it's like you said you start to find out who your real friends are yeah because because like once the money was gone they were like harassing him yeah, they were like, what the hell? Like, you mm-hmm. asshole. You're my bro. <laughs> you said you'd give me money. <laughs> that wasn't any particular accent. I was just. <laughs> I demanded for you. I demand. Yeah, people just. I was your friend sometimes. five years ago and we never talked since, but here I am. I wouldn't trust the friends that I acquired, like, when I have. If I ever had, like, a lot I don't of money. Trust you. I probably wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, right? I don't trust myself. That's one thing about that documentary. With the uh, I don't trust type? any man around my daughter. Dude, right? Like it's not a bad thing, but honestly, and it's not a sexist thing. You know why? Because it's about men. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's sexist. But anyway, if you think about it, most, I would say 99% of child molesters are male. Are male. Yeah. It's just a fact. Then you hear that one case of one teacher. Yeah. Or babysitter. Kid, but or babysitter. isn't that kind of messed up that like sometimes you're like, oh, like that kid. I wish I had that. I wish she was my teacher or whatever. Oh, so, you know, yeah, men's yeah. are men are disgusting, dude. But I I know I know it. Yeah. Like I can't even argue that fact. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, but then you right. think about it like how how mean it is like when a woman actually molests like a boy. Or yeah, no, like it's, that, and, it's messed up. And the guys are like, my friend. So, I have a friend. Like, I'm not gonna say his that's name. That's every guy's boy. dream to I'm get. Not say you know, that. you're just like, no, like I got molested. Like I, it was unwanted contact. It happened to my, our friend from the military. I'm not gonna say his name, but. Like, he told us, like, how his babysitter, like, took advantage of him. And, like, all the other guys were like, oh, that's awesome, man. I wish I would have had that. And yeah. he was like, no, dude, like, that kind of messed me up. Like, I was like but nine. Then, he was like nine. But then it involves priests at a Catholic church. And it's like, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what and everybody loses their shit. <laughs> Everyone turns the world over. 
We- <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's okay because the guy, there's a guy in the, there's a guy that lives in a castle with a big old hat and says it's okay. No, I'm kidding. Who's that? that? Michael Jackson? No. No. <laughs> I was talking about the Pope, but I don't oh. think, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure he doesn't doesn't condone okay. yeah. yeah he doesn't say it's no. okay i'm sure he doesn't condone that behavior he, i think he like fired or whatever you call it in the church banished banished one Dude. of like one of the highest whatever the cardinals? <laughs> the cardinals the cardinals the cardinals yeah right the ones with the red no, hats? no that's nfl bro i don't know what you're no about. dude kidding. <laughs> you stoned yeah. them whoa <laughs> no, i'm just kidding dang damn dude that's that was prehistoric prehistoric <laughs> that's a prehistoric uh behavior <laughs> don't engage in it talking about religion we were watching a that with um scientology no JK. no morgan freeman i like she freaks uh, out no 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 <laughs> oh what's it called life of scientology god? is it called yeah life of god what is that about i, uh, I saw no. it on story my of feed god? story of god? god what is that about it's pretty cool um Love first it, it started with what what was Starts the first with the one guy thing. that um drowned huh yeah, he was talking to the guy that drowned and came. Oh. And he like. Oh, was it, that, that, to that, die. That, the 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 new, the movies that's coming out, right? The, the story of God. It's in our. Yeah, continue Netflix. watching, but I haven't been watching. Yes, Morgan Freeman. Okay. Um, yeah, the first one was death. Okay. Second one was. Uh, what was it? Religion? No. It was apocalypse or religion? One of those. So is it, is it about like people like telling their stories that made them believe in God or something? No, it's like him finding out. Like going to these places where they believe these things and mm-hmm. oh okay okay how like they he came went about get their to perspective Mexico on it. about like their how they the believe in the day of the dead yeah, 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 yeah and yeah. how they celebrated oh, that's cool. he goes to like the pyramids and like the pharaoh and it's just like different episodes. and he's and he's just there to just kind of find out listen you know. and stuff mm-hmm. so he's not he doesn't he doesn't like impose his own because there's a that seems like a, a like a kinder version. He sort of does like yeah. he's talking to this. Is he? I don't know. One religion. And he's like, well, that sounds like like uh-huh. the Buddha. Yeah. Like oh, the Buddha okay. Beliefs. And they're like, no. And no, they didn't say. Oh, <laughs> Get out of here, no, Nanskin. No, because there's a there's a there's another documentary with Bill Maher. I don't know if you guys know that is. He's a comedian, and he's like super like atheist and whatever. Mm. It's called religious religious. And it's kind of the same thing that you guys are talking about, but he like he doesn't care. Like he'll go and be like, like that's bullshit. Mm. I gotta believe it, and this is why. And like people are like, but no, but listen, and he's like, nah, nah, can't convince me. So like it sounds like a nicer version, like not so much in your face version of yeah. of what we watched. That sounds cool, and I love Morgan Freeman, dude. His voice, he's a voice of can hold me to sleep. <laughs> I wish I could tell you, Andy Dufresne fought the good fight. That's from Shawshank Redemption. Who's that? Uh, we that was uh, William Shatner. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was my Morgan Freeman. That was your Morgan Freeman. You do you do Morgan Freeman? I can't do Morgan Freeman. Try it. No, you have a deeper voice than me. So you gotta get that. So play. whoa, <laughs> sound like Josh Turner. <laughs> Who's Josh Turner? Sorry. You know who Josh Turner is? The country singer. No, he's that one that goes, "Baby, lock them door and turn the lights down low." That's no? the only piece of that song I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, that's all you <laughs> need. And it's because we've seen the lines. ranch. Oh, did you so see the ranch? The mm-hmm. ranch. It's not bad, right? We always. Watch I don't. I don't know about this new season. Yeah, I think the new. Season. Without, I think like, they're what, teeter tottering. Huh? Uh, Rooster. Yeah, because Rooster's Rooster. gone. Danny McBride. Yeah, because he was a Danny McBride. Sorry, Danny Masterson. <laughs> Danny McBride is the other dude. Scientologist. Danny Masterson is a Scientologist. Yeah, the Rooster. Oh, and uh, just yes, I know who he is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that's what he got kicked out. I'm like saying the actor's name, but you want me to say his character's name? Out. No, that's not what no. he got kicked out. He yeah, I know. No, I I'm think just saying. Because <laughs> it's because what he was accused of. He's like, I kicked you out because you're a Scientologist. But that's why the chef quit. You know that, right? Who's chef? From South Park, because he's a Scientologist. Yeah, and they made a story about. They oh, made, they made he jokes is a about it, and they were like, "Okay, well, I'm gonna record this episode. It's gonna be my last one." I think that's what happened. I'm oh. quote unquote hey, <laughs> misquoting. Chef. Hey, shit. Yeah. Hi, kids. Hello, children. Oh yeah, yeah. that Hello, was pretty children. good. That was pretty good, right? Yeah. No. You know, you know, <laughs> I, I just did. I, recently, I just did an impression that I think it would have even impressed you. Oh, what? Because I impressed myself. An impression. By the way, I'm been not that good. Him. I'm not that familiar with the Resident Evil games. I watched you play the fourth one, and I think the second one. No, you didn't have the second one. The second one's like from like nineteen something. But I've watched you play the fourth one. I've played the fifth one and the sixth one. I haven't played the seventh one. 
But in the fourth one, Leon, by the way, I know, the girls are like, what the hell are you talking Leon. about? Leon. Yeah, exactly. Yes, Ashley. Yeah. Watch this, watch this. Leon. I did it. I did it. I did it so good. <laughs> Obviously, I did that was so good. good. I did it so good that one time. Like, it was just like off the cuff, and then we're like, whoa. I impressed myself. Ashley. <laughs> Leah, Leah. I can't do it anymore. Wow. I'll let build up for nothing. Wow. <laughs> wow, you just uh, wasted. <laughs> Whatever. That was like a very <laughs> precious second that I'll never get back. Uh huh. <laughs> let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Why do, you, why do girls. I'm not, I'm not trying to put girls on the spot. But why do girls love to get on the Facebook feed and just like refresh it and refresh it and refresh it? I think that's what everyone, girls? bro. <laughs> that's everyone? Yes. I don't do that. I, <laughs> I mean, it's just... It's, people do I, that. It's reason, not just girls. Not reason, everybody does that. Okay, I right. don't do that either. You don't do that either? I don't, I don't get it. Because, I don't know. It's, the reason I'm bringing that up is because sometimes she'll watch a video like of a dog getting murdered or something. It's on Facebook. What? Look what somebody posted. And I'm like, oh. well, get off of that thing. <laughs> Some people are sadistic bastards, man. Yes, and I don't watch videos of dogs getting murdered. Okay, but I it's watch like, like, usually like, like the dodo videos of dogs getting dude, rescued. the dodo? The dodo, man. Those guys <laughs> are legit. Those guys are getting mad money. You've seen the dodo, right? You're familiar with the dodo? I guess. I don't know. Those are the ones that... Those are the guys that like post those videos. Is like, this is this is Maggie. Maggie was found on the side of the road. It was like a dog or something. Or oh, they're like and she was uh, and malnourished. She, yeah, she was mange. malnourished. Yeah, yeah. And like, you know, after four days of recovery, she's now an active puppy and like I adopted happy. her. Yeah, yeah. Like those are the videos I'm talking about. But then they'll go to another one where it's like this boy was found brutally murdered under his chair. <laughs> was when gonna, do they do that? I was thinking too. I don't what? know why we were thinking chair. You were thinking, I was chair, thinking too? chair too. Yeah, yeah see, I was thinking mattress, chair. but then it switches to chair. I don't know. Mattress? Oh, that wouldn't that wouldn't work. You would see the bulge, <laughs> unless you put them right in the middle. But still. <laughs> <laughs> you girls can you know say stuff too. Uh, okay. Can we? I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know when I should speak. <laughs> I mean, every time I try to, you like start talking about oh, something I'm sorry. else. I'm sorry. Did you they just see? they just know each other very well. Like just seeing them interact is like wow. <laughs> cool. We're like animals or something. You still love me? Of course. Okay. I think they have to, man. We're good then. I think they have. They oh, no, must. I'm, I'm I'm like on the fence right now. <laughs> About what? I think, <laughs> no, so, I think they. <laughs> they must because they're still here. It's because I have a Mac. <laughs> <laughs> I know she's like, you better get a Mac quick. <laughs> You're starting to look ridiculous. This close. Ridiculous. Yeah, it's like, you made me look bad in front of our friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shitty yeah. PC. <laughs> Good thing we're not judgmental people. Thank you. Just wait till we get in the A little bit, right? Just wait till we get in the car. Just wait till we get in the car. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, just, just just in the car. <laughs> oh, my God. I couldn't stand those people. <laughs> <laughs> made us watch that, that stupid documentary. <laughs> yeah, that I'm a little kind of upset about still. <laughs> I'm surprised we convinced you. I told you, you that documentary was going to piss you off. I'm surprised we convinced you so easily because you had said you weren't going to watch no, it. No, I, I literally thought about it and thought about it and thought about it and thought about it. <laughs> you, you asked us if the... Because you told us on Saturday. Yes. Right? Yes. We watched Last Saturday. it a day or two days after, I mm-hmm. think. So, like, I literally was just like... Should we? Should we not? I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> and then we did. Well, you had asked us if... I think you thought initially that the girl died or something, right? Mm-hmm. But then we told you, no, she's alive. And then you're like, oh, okay, then I'll watch it. So was that going to be the deterrent if, you, yeah, if she had died? Yeah, yeah, because... You can't watch that? So my thing with shows uh-huh. is that if I watch stuff that it's about kids, I put myself in the situation. Right. So then I'm really weird where, like, I dream about things. And so if yeah. I put that kind of stuff in my head, then I'm constantly like, mm. is, like, somebody going to come in our home? Or, like, this, oh, this okay. neighbor I get you. is I get you. weird. Like, you know what I mean? So yeah. I I do my best not to watch yeah. stuff like that. She got scared of Split. Oh, that was horrible. Split? The, <laughs> the movie. The, the, the one it about the dude that doesn't the <laughs> Multiple personalities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. M. Night Shyamalan. What's that other movie we watched with the walrus? Tusk. Oh, Tusk. Oh my god! She got traumatized with that too. Always nuts, dude. So bad. 
like so bad. That movie is funny. No. Okay. <laughs> you didn't like it? It was horrible. I thought it was crazy. I thought it was funny. I never watched it. So. Because I like that scene it. where he's like, his, his head is inside the thing, the costume. Yeah. And yeah. he just puffs out. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I saw Human Centipede. So or, wait, what is, it, is it called Human Centipede? Yes. Not so, same creator, but yes. I mean, it's kind of like the same realm. That's what he like said. Some fucked up thing. What? Centipede? The cent- it's Human Centipede. Human Centipede. They made a second one, I think. I mean, they made three. They made three? <laughs> they made three. I only watched the what first one. The second Which one? is weird because like they're like kind of in the same universe, but not really. Like the first one is that or whatever. And then the second one is a dude who saw the first one um, who got inspired to do his own. Was that the first movie or saw the first case? Was that like, the first case? movie? No, the what? first movie. Yeah. Huh. Like he saw the movie and then he got inspired to do his own. And it's all black and white. And it's super Edgy. disturbing. Super disturbing because he gets a pregnant, like, a pregnant lady. She's the only survivor. But on her way, like, out, she delivers a baby. But the baby, like, she's in the car. And, like, the baby falls in the, by the pedals. Huh? And she just, like... What? Yeah. Bleeds up? Wow. No, like... No, she she stomps on her chest. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's dangerous, especially when you're driving. Yeah. <laughs> Ow! No, I'm, I'm saying it. It's, this is not real, okay? This isn't actually, right? No, this is actually happening. Like, you don't know that. Like, people are crazy like that, uh, stupid mommy. like that. Like, yeah. See, that, that's when you know I'm getting upset because I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> hey, you brought it up. I didn't make Why you, you watch that, babe. I'm sorry. We might hear Brenda cuss. <laughs> we watched. saying stupid and stuff. We <laughs> Speaking of fucked up things, we watched this. We're watching this other documentary called Evil Genius. Is that this why you have like a dirty mind? I think I have a dirty mind because oh, when I was young, I, I, well, let's sit back and let me tell you a story. <laughs> no, I'm I don't know why. I mean, I like watching shows like that I was that so too, innocent and... when I was little. Yeah, like with the Ted Bundy tapes. Like people that one are, was are, interesting. Are, are into it and they're like surprised that a man could do this. Like I watched this like five years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. As, a, as a teenager. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because, it, yeah, it's interesting. It was boring. Honestly, <laughs> we're over here. It's interesting. Yeah, it sucks. I honestly got really bored when I started watching. I was like, yeah. Okay. So you don't that stuff doesn't interest you like the psychology. See, for me, like yeah. it's just like I, I'm I'm like interested in like 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 their mindset. Like you know why 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 would they do that or mm-hmm. like how 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 did they get away with it for so long? You mm-hmm. know, it's just like it just interests me. Yeah. I mean, it could be worse. You can be one of those. People the mind like is a powerful and interesting thing, mm-hmm. isn't it? Yeah. I tell that people all the time, man. Mm-hmm. Like hallucinations. Like you can. <laughs> what? No, no, no. I'm saying like you <laughs> can you... make yourself believe. Yeah. A lot of shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think that's interesting when people, like, are so like you should be very critical of like what you're thinking, you know. And I think some people just all of a sudden they forget about that when like somebody comes in, hey, join this cult, and they're like, okay, let's do it. Yeah. But like you know, Psychology. you would be critical. You'd be critical mm-hmm. with anything else. You're critical with what you put in your body, right? Does this have carbs in it, or like, what's your best cell phone? What's the best laptop? And we're so critical about this stuff. But sometimes we don't do the same thing with the people we associate with. And I think it's interesting mm-hmm. that people all of a sudden just throw that out the window. I read this book where they're talking about how we are now letting others think for us, so we're not thinking for ourselves. Mm-hmm. So we're doing that to our children. Like yeah, we think yeah, yeah. for them instead of having them think for themselves. Mm-hmm. So we're becoming lazy. Yeah. So we're doing what other people are doing because we're too lazy to think for right, ourselves right, right. on what to do. I'm worried. I worry about that sometimes. Like about where what? society is going. I think eventually, I don't think there's going to be that much people on earth just because I don't think there's going to be a lot of people getting pregnant anymore. Not like, I'm not talking about third world country. I'm talking about here in America. Like, it seems like society, that's kind of where it's going. think there's going to be another purge? Not a no. purge, but, like, like it seems like people now are starting to wait longer to have kids because they want to have, like, the package, you know? Yeah, they, 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 they want to have the they, house. Like, and society all this, yeah. sold them. Yeah. And all of a sudden, it's like, oh, well, I'm 30 or 35 years old. Uh, we'll just have one kid. Oh, it's a girl, you know? And, like, slowly, little by little, people are just going to 
not want to go home or sorry not want to go out as what? much <laughs> not want to go not want to go out as much you know everything's already automated pretty much yeah. I mean, you can get, you get delivered you can, to your dude house, you can get groceries entertainment to your snacks. house you drones get snacks delivered oh yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah i saw that <laughs> there's this ad for like this company that's kind of like uh what's a uh uber eats type mm-hmm. thing but it's for snacks yeah, it's for snacks, and like it was like this guy's like so it's and the guy's like talking about it's super easy. So here we go. We have David, and he wants Starburst. What is it like Starburst, Snapple, and Skittles or some shit like that? Yes, yeah, sna- uh, Starburst, Snapple, and Skittles. And so we're just gonna go ahead and get this stuff, and we're gonna go give it to him or whatever. And then they like go to the guy, and the guy comes out, and he gets the stuff, and he's like, "Yeah, so I'm just gonna go in there and have this, and we go enjoy these things." I'm like, "Who are you? What are you?" It's like if a five-year-old got your yeah. mom's credit card, like, yeah, it's we'll a man-child. It's a man-child. Who eats Starburst and Snapple and Skittles in one city? Kid playing Fortnite. That's, that must have been it. He was a gamer. You know, I made... I now made, that I think about it, he I came made, out with a headset. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking to Ninja. I'm, I made a joke earlier today. About like, what? people are complaining for Trump not to build the wall. Right. But those same people are playing Fortnite. <laughs> Building walls. <laughs> wow. Did we just did we just break it? Did we just yeah. solve the entire problem? Yeah. Don't oh. play Fortnite if you're against the walls. <laughs> <laughs> we Or don't have gates around your we, house if you're against the walls. When you think it's gonna you think it's gonna even be done by the time his term is over? No. Assuming he doesn't get reelected. Why wouldn't he get reelected? No, I'm just saying I'm assuming. <laughs> well even if he did. Even if you ran the full two uh, years, I don't think it was. I don't, done. I don't even know why it's a big issue because Bush did it. I mean, we have a wall here. Now. What do you yeah, mean? there's already a wall of a fence. Unfinished. And he wants to expand. But he wants it. to build another one. Well, I guess I don't he know. just I, wants to build. Yeah. Like, that reinforce that thing. Reinforce. It. He wants right. to reinforce it, but he wants to do it the all way, around. Because yeah. there's 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 like pieces of Texas where it's like. And yeah, I think that... Like, I've been here in El Paso, the yeah. mm-hmm. Monte Cristo Rey. Yeah. Like, that, you they tell you, like, you shouldn't go there at night or alone. Go right. when, like, a lot of people are going because there's no fence and people can cross over. Mm. I mean, I guess that makes sense. I mean, do you think we should have... No, now we're going to <laughs> politics. <laughs> do you think... Well, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. Let's start this podcast here the way and start I... <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do several podcasts. <laughs> Zero We're just going to go ahead and knock out a couple of subjects right. and uh, stock up on podcasts so I can just have them. <laughs> release them slowly. Now no, 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 no that we have equipment, right? Yeah. Hey, welcome back to another episode. Uh, this is a sick startup. YouTube, the gamers do that. Like for streaming or what? Yeah, like, uh, well, for YouTube, like whoever video games on YouTube or whatever. Uh-huh. Um, they they like end games. the video, yeah. but the next video, the continuous video, they're wearing the same clothes, but they started like a brand new one. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Yeah. Like they say, oh, we're, this is the end of the first episode, blah, blah, blah. See you next At episode. At least change your shirt, bro. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're then, leaving you with a cliffhanger. Yeah, and then Play you go to the next episode. Yeah. They release it a cliffhanger? week later, even though yeah. they had it done like yeah, 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 yeah. the week before at the same time. Well, they do that because, I mean, the more content you put out, the better. Yeah. I mean, strategic. How, why would you, yeah. So, like, why would you. Make one good video that's gonna get a bunch of views when you can make two, two. videos that make pretty like the same amount. So, Diversification. I know math. <laughs> <laughs> two is better than you one. You know math? What? I know math. Math? Math. Math. Math? Math. Have you seen Breaking Bad? Yeah. That was one of the best shows. <laughs> right? Ever. ever. Did you guys watch Breaking Bad? Yeah. I know you were there. You watched Breaking Bad. I'm just joking. I saw it with you. Yeah. That, that didn't make you get all paranoid and stuff? Especially since it's like based in Albuquerque. No, I <laughs> didn't get you paranoid. Nah, because we weren't involved with those things. Uh-huh. What drugs? Yeah, I'm not a. I'm not a science teacher who got diagnosed with cancer and had to find a way to. Yeah, but you might. You, you must eat chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, los pollos hermanos. Dude, that chicken looks so good. <laughs> well, it was just it was just fried chicken, right? I thought it was a legit place. I don't get excited for fried chicken. I don't get it. I never got it. Like when we went to Nebraska, everybody was always talking about like raising canes. Well, there's one here too. Raisin canes is delicious. But it's just we had it once. They're just chicken. That sauce. It's just chicken. That raisin cane sauce. Yeah. Woo! I just don't get excited for chicken strips. Maybe it's because when I was young, I liked it so much. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's I didn't okay. have to say. 
Like we were at the airport, uh-huh. and there was this old lady next to us. Okay, and you and you <laughs> and stole her razor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I punched her. <laughs> you pushed her over and stole her razor cane toss. No, like we were eating. Uh-huh. Um, I finished my food first because yeah. it was so good. Yeah, and um, like we were literally eating here, Emma, and then she was right there. So and she was just making conversation. Yeah, like we were just talking to her, and then I think she wasn't gonna finish it. Okay. <laughs> and Moises literally like he's over here like, are you gonna finish that? Like to me, and I'm like, dude, I'm eating. And she's like, oh, I'm not gonna finish this. <laughs> like. You know. And what did you say? You're like, like no, no, I'm dude. Like, oh, thank you. Right. <laughs> yeah, he no, was like, yes. No, but what did Brenda say? Was she like, oh my god? Yeah. Yeah. I, I would have done Dude. that too. I'd be like, like no, seriously, like, like no, but you, you don't have to about, give it to what's him. What's so <laughs> bad with that? I mean, it's gonna go to waste. Yeah. When I worked at yeah. Burger King, dude, I almost cried. Like I don't even like Burger King, but I what? cried every <laughs> time we had to throw like we oh. throw out, like those big like paint buckets full of fries every night. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, all the time. Well, a lot of fast food, like it's just like it's so wasteful. Like it's a bis- trash cans it's- full of patties. Oh, cool. It sucked, dude. I was like, damn, this is such a waste. Like, we could just take this to a soup kitchen or something. So like, I know, because that's a loss of profit. I'm like, how? How is this even better? You're throwing it how, away. Yeah, you're throwing it away. I don't understand. Because it's a business strategy. Yeah. Like, that's why, like, high-end clothing lines, if they don't sell clothes or whatever, like, all the winter clothes, let's say, from a certain high-end brand, uh-huh. they didn't sell their winter clothes. So they're moving on to their spring clothes. Right. They cut up all that clothes so no one... Like and then, and then they throw it away, so oh, no one goes into the trash and like. Oh my it? gosh! You see, like that's just like, it, it hurts, yeah. you know, because like, yeah. there's so many people who need clothes or like who need food, and so like that people are just throwing it away, cutting it up, throwing it away, making sure nobody can can get it. And it's just like, I get it. That's a loss of profit, but like, where's your humanity? <laughs> no, well, at the same time, what if? The, like I think the logic behind that is they don't want to see any homeless people wear it because then they'll bring that bring down the value of their brand, and it makes sense because yeah. yeah. long you, term, you. yeah, I get you. Like if let's say you see someone wearing a a Yeezy or whatever, yeah, later on you're not gonna be like, nah, well homeless people are wearing it now, so I don't want to wear it. True, true, true. You know what I mean? Well, homeless people. <laughs> hey, homeless people brought it back. <laughs> like I, I think that's the logic behind it. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe I think it's I know it sounds messed up, but I think sometimes we don't think about like the whole like natural selection thing. What like mean? I don't think every single person because if you think about it, she you, think, does, you know, you think it, every no, 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 I wasn't even going to say that. I was like, not every single person is, is going to be Bits. able to, it's is going to, to be live. able to there you go. Yeah. make it to, you know, X level. Right. It's just I think that's just the way it is. Like, you see all these people, like, you imagine if you went to Juarez, and you just had, like, a limited amount of money, and I was like, I'm just going to give every single homeless person, I don't know what, whatever, give me an amount, whatever amount. Like, do you think that would solve the problem? No. Or do you think that most of them will be back in the street the next A lot time? of people think money will solve the problem. It won't. Mm-hmm. It's, it's the it, wall that's going to solve it. No, it's gonna... <laughs> <laughs> You're correct, AA. Okay. It will build jobs. No, it's like the, the person, the person, him, the person itself has to be willing to change. Exactly, exactly. For the problem to be solved. Yeah, I, I think majority of the time it's just people not taking responsibility for what they're for what they're doing. I think there's a lot of people like out there who's like blaming society, and mm-hmm. but I mean you can't control life. No, DeGrasse Tyson, you know who that is? He's mm-hmm. an astrophysicist. He says the universe has absolutely no. Uh, Sorry, no uh, obligation to make sense to you. And I think that's a pretty good metaphor because it's true. Life yeah. has absolutely no obligation. It'll go on whether you're here or not, mm-hmm. whether you whine, whether you yeah, it doesn't struggle. Cover. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So yeah. like the only thing you can control is what, what you, do. you do. Like we were talking, I mean, I don't know if we should talk about this, but we were talking about, you know, the government shutdown. Okay. And this lady that came those. out. Yeah. <laughs> Came out <laughs> crying. Yeah, because yeah, I was in the military. She came out on this video crying about how she didn't have like food for her kids mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And like we don't want to be insensitive, but it's also like if you're going through that, do something about it. Don't just right, cry right. about it because yeah. it happened to a million people. And exactly, like even people that were not affected by the government shutdown are going through that and they're doing something about it. Exactly. 
So we were like, like, don't cry about it. Find a way. If your mm-hmm. kids need food, you know, you yeah. have there's to find a way. so much stuff you can do. And some people, well, I, don't well, know, I don't know her <laughs> situation, but some yeah. people are just not good at well, planning we, their finances. We also too. watched something, um, but it, it, it was mostly about like like immigrants. You know, they're 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 talking about how like immigrants are stealing your jobs and stuff like that. So this uh this guy oh it was about Mark Marin yeah and he did that thing where yeah they were at, he's at an unemployment line well first he went to like a, a farm mm-hmm. you know where they're like I think it was a, a great grape farm great farm and they're like he asked the guy well can we only hire immigrants and it's like because they're the only ones that want to work they're the only ones that are hungry they want to go and they got to make some money and so he went to the unemployment line in California and he was like hey uh you, you looking for a job and he's like yeah he's like, they're hiring. Down at the whatever farms, so all you gotta do is uh, pick grapes or whatever. And he's like, "Oh, like, oh, no, I don't want to do that." I said, like, "Why not? It's, it's a job. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean." So, I think it also has to do with that. So yeah. people just don't want to put in the effort. Yeah, the shoe fits where it. I'm not talking shit to anyone in particular, but I've seen a lot. Of people. I know a lot of people that I'm just like, I feel like you're holding yourself back. Yeah, because, like, the government shut down. Like even though you you're not getting paid, you know the shutdown is gonna end. Yeah. Eventually. And you're gonna start getting paid. And, and you'll get you. the back pay. Yeah. But yeah. Of we, course, yeah. That month or so is gonna be a struggle. Yeah. But then again, you still have that security or whatever. Well, I've been through two of those when I was in the military, and yeah, usually only lasted like three weeks. I mean, by the way, like we we're very admin on like saving money that yeah so you know that's we, another thing it's people need to be responsible they need to be yeah. financially smart res- yeah, smart yeah we we're, we're very godos like we we, we we hate you know <laughs> spending Stinch. lots and lots of money you know that's we, what you gave us used water right? <laughs> <laughs> used <laughs> water. recycled water we, we, we try to save <laughs> as much as we can <laughs> i was wondering why you went those to are my tears. for water right? <laughs> those <laughs> are my tears for not being able to get the pc <laughs> But yeah, we we try to save as much as we can. So like when whenever the government did have the shutdown, we did have money saved Good. aside. Yeah, because you Good. can you can never depend on anyone. Yeah. For money, I trust. I for the most part, I trust those that are above me, like the smarter people. I think that I think honestly, those are, there's types of people in this world, right? They're the problem solvers, people who are actively just think differently, and they can like look at these things. Oh, I can I know how to solve this. And they're the consumers, or like the people who accept what we get. And I think me and Melissa have always been those types of people. Like, I don't have a solution to a lot of things, but I mean, we we don't go around killing people, stealing, and we're fine. So I think most of the time, you just have to you treat people the way you want to be treated, right? <laughs> you try to save as much money as you, you whip can. Whip them with a nobody. And you follow the rules. Fun. What's up? Yeah, exactly. I think <laughs> as long as you follow the rules, yeah, you should be fine. I think most people just... You don't follow the rules. You don't follow the rules? You steal shit? I'll make new rules. (laughs) Rules are meant to be broken, right? That's what he says. But does he ever break rules? Not big rules, like not laws. Not illegal. (laughs) Not laws. So so, so you're a little bit rebellious. (laughs) (laughs) He'll like... He'll drink and drive. I'm like Nemo. Do you drink and drive like you'll drink a soda? Don't touch the butt. You touch the butt. (laughs) Oh, you're one of those guys. You, uh, huh? you, you put a finger guys. on it. Like yeah. somebody tells you, don't do that. And you're like, mm. Do you touch? If it's not illegal and it's fun, don't do it. Right? So, <laughs> people... so, so you're one of those kids that if your mom mopped the floor and she's like, don't you step on the floor. I just no, mopped. I got whooped about this. And, <laughs> and you just put a toe on it. You're like, <laughs> that's, I'm technically no, I think not he, stepping on it. I think he's one of those guys because that's me. That when the, the, the server comes in, he's like, careful, the plate's hot. And you're like, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> that's me. No, you that's do not that? me. No. Oh yeah, me neither, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like example, we used to live live in some apartments that were gated. Okay, so there's an entrance because you put in a code, and there's an exit. Sometimes the exit door was open, and he and it was exit only. Yeah, and he would go in through there, and I'm like, babe, don't do that. Like go in through the other side. He's like, why? This one's already open. Mm. I'm like, what? What if, like, somebody's coming out and you're going in? <laughs> Too bad. It's, it's, it's like when you, when you go to, like, a big parking lot and there's those speed bumps. And if there's space, I'll drive around them. Yeah. I'll you're, do that. Like, you're not going to tell me what to do. Yeah, like, there's nobody <laughs> around here. Who's going to? I'm not going to slow down for you. <laughs> we, I got in trouble in, uh, I was in Kadena. Oh, sorry. That's an Air Force Base. I was in uh, Okinawa. Okinawa? Okay, I was in Okinawa. It was 
on base. Mm-hmm. And we were going to go get some breakfast because we had pulled like a 19-hour shift. Like Dang. we were tired as hell. And we were still not done. It's like, go get some breakfast because like my career field was kind of obsolete at the time. So I was just like, it was like three of us that we weren't needed at the time. So I was like, here, go get some breakfast for everybody at Burger oh, King. I remember right? that story. So... I'm still mad about this because it's <laughs> bullshit. So I, uh, we were going to park as close as possible to the door. Mm-hmm. So when they came out with the food. By the way, this is like 6 in the morning. It's nobody, and it's monsoon nobody, no, season. Yeah, nobody it? around here. No, it wasn't monsoon season. Oh. But nobody was around. It was just us. And the restaurant had just opened. So we ordered like, I don't know why I keep pointing at you when I'm talking to you. <laughs> we ordered like 20 or something. Like a bunch of breakfast, dude. And... Uh, like, okay, well, that's gonna take a while, so we'll come outside. And then, yes, it started raining, so I said, well, let's get as close as we can to the door, so when she comes out, we can just load up the shit and get out of here. So I'm in the car and I'm in the I'm in the driver's seat, okay, and I'm like I'm gonna park as close as I can, so that's the handicap spot. But I, but I'm in the car, so I'm thinking my logic is like, hey, if somebody shows up that needs it, if I see the lights, I'm I'm moving. It's that easy. So I pull up. No, it wasn't the only. Hand- it was just hand- me. Hand- no, no, no. I'm not parked. Uh, technically, I'm stopped at the tennis guest spot, but I'm in the car. I'm, I'm still there. I'm looking around, making sure nobody's there, and nobody was there. The mm-hmm. only person that were other than us was another van that was parked like four spaces away from the other handicap spot. Because you know, there's, there's two. There's always one on the right side, one on the left side. So I was on the one on the right side. So he was like five spaces mm-hmm. from us. So he wasn't handicapped. Just some random guy. He's looking at us the whole time, right? I'm He's in his car, too? He's in his car, too. That's weird. So, like, I'm just like, oh, okay, whatever. I'm talking, waiting for this food to come out. And then, uh, finally, uh, we get the food. We go, and the, my, one of my friends goes out and gets it. We get back in the car. We're about to leave. The guy pulls up next to us. And he goes, hey, uh, wh- you're not supposed to be parked here. Like, why are you parked here? I was like, oh, no, sir, we're just waiting for our food. And, like, he's like, no, like, that's so disrespectful like what if somebody needed that spot i was like there's nobody else here sir like it was just me i'm just waiting so i'm like trying to be calm but at the same time i'm tired and and i kind of be like dude calm the fuck down like there's nobody else around here so and then i go back and i'm talking to the maintainers i'm like hey this guy was yelling at me for sit uh just sitting on the on the handicap spot i wasn't he's like you should have been parked there i think we're done with this podcast now (laughs) yeah (laughs) (laughs) what's it but you guys gotta understand, right? Like, that, no. do you guys think that I was? That is the un- you think most I was, you think I was, mis- you think I was heard. doing something wrong? Yes, you do Definitely think so. Definitely being selfish. Yeah. Jk. Why? I I was only thinking. <laughs> I'm I, was only think- I was only thinking of the for yourself. You were no. Really I was thinking. I was thinking yourself. of the lady that had to come out in the rain with like forty thousand sandwiches. Well then, <laughs> why didn't you go inside? Because it was raining. <laughs> exactly. So you were being selfish. Instead of thinking like, okay, the lady shouldn't be coming out with all okay, this stuff. Okay, but... We're, it's three of us. That was your so wife. Oh right? my God, Brenda. I'm about to kick her out. No, <laughs> no, but the thing is... Get out. If, I'm if, making this podcast interesting if right you're, now. If you're, if you're just going to be a minute, right? And nobody else is around. Like, nobody. Why can't, why can't I just sit in the spot in the driver's seat? I'll get out. There was another spot open in case there was a handicap spot. Now, if two handicapped people pull in the, pull in the same time, that's but just a terrible how would coincidence. You know? The license plate. So, <laughs> <laughs> the license plate has a little picture of a of a guy in a wheelchair. Not all of them. Well, don't they ha- either? They have that or they have the little thing on mm-hmm. the. I mean, they should. But it was raining. But it was raining. I, I, no, I could so see. So how did you see? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't think. Wait, I did Jk. Anything. I still think you're selfish. I don't think I did anything wrong. <laughs> Everybody's legally. entitled to their opinion. Yeah. No, you're right. I, I think the way that Perception. The, the, the guy probably handled it wrong because, yeah. he, because he... Why did he, he wait so long? He was more angry than what he's making it Yeah, sound. no, he was like... Re- I feel like he, he was being... He overreacted. Yeah. Like, especially yeah. since we were sitting there for a little bit. He could have come up to us and be like, Hey, why are you parked here? And then we would have explained it to him. But he kind of came up to me like I was an asshole. Hi. Like, he, you know, don't you hate when people just assume that you're a certain type of person? No, he wasn't Japanese. He was American. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why are you parked here? <laughs> hey, you cannot park here. Move along. <laughs> <laughs> chop, chop. You sound, like the, you sound like the dude from uh, South Park or the, what is it, Team America? Which one? 
Oh, King whatever <laughs> thing, dude, whatever. What you sound like? <laughs> Is that what you were going for? I don't know. Nice. Spot on, spot on. <laughs> spot on? Spot on. <laughs> That's a family guy, which is also on Netflix. Do you know what? We saw the stand-up comedy with that guy's name that we were watching. Oh. Uh, it's a lot of stand-up. Uh, Arabian guy. guys? Yes. Arabian guy. That dude is hilarious. He was so funny. Arabian guy? His name was... Mohammed Amr. Uh-huh. Or or Mohammed yeah, Amr. Mohammed Amr. You what? should watch it. It's hilarious. Like and I didn't think he was gonna be funny, but because he's Muslim. I'm just kidding. No, um, wait. Is he? Is I mean, he, he made he's, fun he's of. He's Arab. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. he's Arab, American. but he looks Mexican and he can talk Spanish uh-huh. and English. Oh. So he knows three languages, what? but he looks Mexican. Oh, nice. Color me intrigued. And it's he, funny. Yeah, it's hilarious. Is it funny? He like basically talks about his journey of, um, because he came here for asylum or whatever. Yeah. Um, what was it like twenty years ago, or whatever? Mm-hmm. And. Oh, wow. uh, he talks about his journey about uh-huh. traveling because he, he, since he wasn't a citizen, he couldn't get a passport. So he talks about him because he um, seeked asylum in the United States. His passport is that. That's his. Oh, okay, okay. Like, it That's takes a lot proof. for me to laugh. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, really? I really don't think a lot of stuff comedians say is funny. Like Ellen's stand up comedy, I was like, well, this I was going to say, you laugh a lot when we're talking <laughs> to each other. <laughs> But we're not standing but, up. But like, yeah. oh, you mean like jokes, like jokes. Yeah, like joke Ellen's, I, I was like, whatever. Yeah. Um, Adam Sandler, we were just completely bored. Mm. And then we saw this guy. Where I was just I'm laughing here to check the him whole out. time. I like absurd humor. And Melissa doesn't like I like that. dark humor. Like, have you dark heard humor of is funny. Anthony Jeselnik? Yes. That uh, dude is super dark. But I haven't, I haven't actually seen his stuff. But our, our Bill pastor. Burr. Bill Burr is hilarious. But see, he says outrageous he, stuff too. He yeah, just he says calmed shit. down though. Yeah, he got married and calmed down. <laughs> no, like you know, Joe, you know Joe Rogan, right? Yeah, like that dude. Like, that dude's wrong. Just, he throws, he yeah. throws. But here's uh, what I like about Joe is that he throws, he'll throw like something crazy out there, like something mm-hmm. stupid, like, like oh my, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. But then he'll like clear it up and like put some facts into it, and then you're like, oh shit, like I didn't even think about it that way. Like, he talked about how cats are, like, just natural murderers. Yeah. yeah like, were, you're living with a murderer. Sorry, cats are like, you murderer. Dude. We were cracking up. And <laughs> you saw that one about the gerbil? And then the dogs, the dogs are like, like, it won't fuck it up. It'll be like, can I fuck him up? <laughs> yeah. you never seen that one. No, I haven't seen it. We were cracking up yeah. so much because yeah. that's our that's cat. That's fucking rat. Like, like, when he talks about it, his cat's, like, walking away. Yeah, with, with, the, their with tails the tail up. With the ass. Yeah. Dude, I'm scared of cats, man. I'm telling you. Why? I told you before. They're not. Oh, because it's like, like they attack you? Any cat attack looks worse than any dog attack, in my opinion. I feel like dogs are just like, you know, they go for the I mean, bite. I don't, they, I don't they think. They go for the bite. Right? I don't think go, you can die from a. A cat bite? A cat. There's a dude in A Thousand Ways to Die. He he got clipped on one of his cat's fingers and went, coot. And the, the cat had poo poo. Had doo doo. Had doo doo on his, on his nail. That. Yeah, he got affected and died. That's an infection. It's called cat scratch fever, son. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but a dog, if a dog fever. tries to kill you, he's going for your neck. He's going for your jugular. How? If I'm, what if I'm laying down? <laughs> he's going to go Dude, for your jugular. Bro. I mean, I don't know. I just think cats are crazy, man. You look at their eyes. and I think any animal driven to a certain point is crazy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like a dog, if you die and your dog is just there starving, he's going to start eating you. What about a worm? <laughs> what's a worm gonna do i mean <laughs> an earth there's a reason why we de- de- earthworms are stupid that's why we decay because you know, there's worms people used to us. say people used to say soy feliz como una lombriz what the hell do they have to be so happy about <laughs> they live in the ground and they eat dirt okay they're yeah, too they're stupid like... it rains too much and they gotta go up so they don't fucking drown and then okay? they like and then they go on the sidewalk and then like it's too warm the next day and now they're drying out in yeah. the sun or a bird comes to eat them or some douchebag in a moped Runs them over. Yeah, what a great life. You're talking about yourself? <laughs> no, that's actually one of my rants that I was going to do for a video. And I never so now you guys have seen the exclusive. Is, is this how you feel about re- the beans that are rejected? The beans of the soup. Hey, man, I thought that was such a great name. I was like, that's going to be a good name for a band if I had, <laughs> any, if I had any musical talent whatsoever. Rejected bean soups. No, just reject bean soup. But you oh. can play the ukulele, so you have some I, I dabble. <laughs> I'm better at magic than ukulele. I've never heard you play ukulele. Oh, I'll play you some ukulele. Not right now, but 
After maybe. After what? Just you and me. <laughs> Serenade you. We got something scheduled after this. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, how long? How long? How long have we been recording? Too long. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to wrap it up. Melissa is giving me the signal. She wants to go to sleep. <laughs> it's like eight. No, yeah, yeah, we should probably just wrap it up. Oh, it's well, past your bedtime, Greg. Oh, jeez, oh, man. Well, the babysitter is so going to charge me double. Dude, <laughs> your dad's asleep right now. Yeah, probably. <laughs> funny my dad actually just walked in here. Right now? <laughs> right? Well, every time, every time your dad comes, he like... He knocks calls, on the door. No, no, he calls your name. He calls your name. Greg. And then, That's what it sounds like. And then he'll knock on the door. Is that a dog? I'm like, Dad, this is, so I'm awesome. like, Dad, this is your house. Right? He's being respectful. No, I know. But yeah, he'll, 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 he'll just say, say his name. I'm like, Greg. I know what time she... And I'm she like, she's I like, think your, your dad's, dad's outside. I'm like, why? And then I hear, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he is outside. And then I'll yell at him back. I'm like, come in. And then he won't come in. He's so old school. Yeah. Anyway, That's the next cool. podcast will talk about though. my dad. That's no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> thank you no but seriously well, guys, thanks I, I, for coming thanks for giving us these mics of course thanks for just giving them to me <laughs> thanks <laughs> for <laughs> watching the stupid documentary for, oh for us gosh. whoa <laughs> inflation make, dog yeah. Pro, I mean profit bro inflation profit but uh yeah I don't know if you guys want to plug your stuff now's the time to plug <laughs> now's the no, time for I mean. you to plug <laughs> since we went through this torture I guess we deserve yeah. it yeah. Go ahead, we go ahead. earned this yes do it do your plug <laughs> well we're Firelane Podcast. You can follow us on Facebook at Firelane Podcast and IG at Firelane Podcast. That's Instagram for all you <laughs> non millennials. Non millennials. Who? No one who's not a millennial is not an IG. I've never heard anyone call it that, to be honest with you. What? IG. IG? I call it the egg. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So Insta. FB. I call it Insta. Everything's an abbreviation now. Let's not get into that right now. No. I don't everything's know. An ab- everything's an app. Everything's an app. I don't know. You're welcome. TTLY. <laughs> Hello, well. TTY. I know it's TTYL. Wow. What do you say, TTY? I apologize for my cussing. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah you were <laughs> potty mouth. I know. Yeah, I was yeah, like, we too. couldn't contain you. Good, good thing I don't edit it because then I'd be like, beep, beep. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> Not to give her a real talk right now. No, but thanks for coming, guys. Uh, of course. And you guys can always follow us at Regent Bean Soup. That's the YouTube channel, a region being podcast on Podbean. You guys didn't even talk about Podbean, man. You guys are on Podbean. Stop recording. (laughs) (laughs) I looked at you like, you (laughs) motherfucker. We'll start this over. The whole thing. (laughs) The point of the Facebook. We're we're also on IG. (laughs) Not on Facebook. I I, I can't. I don't know. I don't want to break into the Facebook scene yet. I want to wait. I think IG is better. Yeah. I like Instagram. You get more. It's also a region being too. Volume. And I'm also on Snapchats. Snappy chats with my wife. No, we're not on Snapchat. Yeah, snappy chats. Uh, but it's not really YouTube. Chats. It's Panico Hispanico. Your WhatsApp too? I don't have a WhatsApp. <laughs> I don't have a Moco space. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. Watch. We'll... Oh. <laughs> if you guys are watching this, it's probably really boring. <laughs> thank you for listening. There's a nothing here. <laughs> I'm not even on the it's screen the right ending now. to a podcast. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching with your eyes. <laughs> Have your a ears. great listening with your eyes. <laughs> watching with your ears. <laughs> oh man. Play some Pokemon Go. Go do something. You guys have a great weekend. Catch you next time. Bye. Later. <laughs>